Hi, my name's Tom. I like to play games with my Oculus Quest 2, and I do it pretty regularly. So when Geek VR reached out to me and they offered me a head strap in exchange for an honest review, I said, sure, I'll give you an honest review. That's exactly what I'm going to do. This is the Geek VR head strap once it's actually been installed. Uh, we've actually, my son and I actually played this a lot last night. I did it for about an hour, hour and a half. My son did it for two hours straight, and he loved it as well. Let's talk about comfort and adjustments. One, this, these two arms slide onto the Oculus. They slide on, they don't snap on. So sliding means that you actually have, there you go, you can move it back and forth depending upon what you need for comfort. You don't need to actually control the lever of these because the Oculus itself moves up and down. The arms itself on the Oculus move up and down to adjust that. Here's where the real comfort comes in this forehead pad. So you no longer have that silly strap across your head. Instead, you have a forehead pad, and that's a thick pad. It's a thick, uh, it's kind of that faux leather stuff. It's actually thicker than my face mask. It's really, really comfy. But when you put it on, and I'll put it on in a second, what it does, it takes all the weight off the front of your face, so instead of sitting here on your nose, the weight is actually distributed, kind of pushed back on your head, and you don't feel it. It feels very light. This is great. Uh, another nice feature here, this padding on the back, this is the back of the head padding. That is also really, really nice. On the little crappy head strap, I have, you know, what? An eighth of an inch of padding there? That's just awful. This is very comfortable, very padded. Uh, it's nice and open there for a little bit of airflow. It's just a very, very comfortable headset. Uh, you'll also notice on the very back, a knob. That knob is for fine-tuned adjustments for sizing and tightening it while you're wearing it. Let me show you. Okay, so I just put this thing on. I can just turn it and I can feel it tightening and I can tighten it into my face to get it nice and adjusted. I can slide this up and down a little bit here. Maybe I'll do a little bit looser. There we go. Uh, another notch. Okay, good. And that's nice and comfortable. Again, no head strap. A lot of the weight is up here. It's kind of been pushed into my face, but also kind of moved up. So I have this whole great big padding thing kind of holding this thing in place. It's a very comfortable, head strap, pretty cool. There's another feature of this head strap which is just amazing, it's, it's very unique. Here on the back of the head strap, you have this white thing. You say, oh gee, that's probably a, a counterbalance. You're right, it is. It's a balance to kind of keep the headset nice and comfortable on your head. But it's also a battery pack. It's actually held on by magnets and it has little uh, sensors there, little things, there's little tiny little needles and magnets in there. And when you drop this thing onto that, click, it just clicks in like a magnet. So when you put the battery in, the energy goes down the cord, you plug it into your Oculus. Now your Oculus is using all of the power in this battery to go ahead and charge itself and you get another couple hours of play time. The cool thing about these battery packs is they do come out. And what does that mean? That means that you can go ahead and buy multiple batteries have them charge. It's just a USB-C connection and it does come with a cord. You just have them charged up. So while you're playing, you can pull one out, drop it to the side, pull a new battery off the charger, and ready? Click it back in and you're ready to go for another couple hours. That's all it takes. Another cool feature, let's say you're playing games, you suddenly notice your phone is low on power. No problem, you pull this thing out, you plug a USB-C connector in here, this battery will also go ahead and recharge your phone. It's just a regular battery pack that you would have on a travel or you'd use to recharge any kind of device, but this has actually been designed to fit in the back of the Geek VR headset or plug it off and, and recharge another object. It's really pretty multi-use, I love it. So of course, Obviously, I can do it while I'm actually playing. So I have my Oculus Quest on right now. I'm just sitting there. I can pull the battery out. I can put it away. I can get another battery and plug it back in. Let's see. Up oh, there we go. Magnet stuck in. I'm charging again, and I'm back to playing. Again, after a couple hours of use, this is my go-to head strap now. This has all the features I want. It's easily adjustable. It's super comfortable. It takes the weight off my face and kind of distributes it across my head. And it has a battery, which is not only a battery pack, but a removable battery pack, which you can go ahead and buy, again, multiple batteries. And you could sit and, in theory, play, you'd probably be in VR for 10, 15, 20 hours a day, which is probably not healthy. This is really a great uh, head strap for your Oculus Quest. I cannot recommend this enough. My son and I both completely love it. My daughter has used it. She likes it as well, and she tightens it up all the way. It really is a very comfortable, very usable, uh, 
good looking head strap for the Oculus Quest 2. Highly recommended.